man. You ready for work? Come on, push on over. Let's go. It's baby the dog, man. The star of the show. The star of the show. summer home. Well, actually, yeah, it's a summer home. It's a doctor lives at this place, so he just goes there on the weekends type of thing, so I'm going to go over there and see if I could, uh, oh, i got to winterize it. We'll need the water department there. It's got a hydronic heating system. I have put antifreeze in the hydronic heating system like four years ago. I went by the other day and I checked it. It's not acidic, so I'm going to leave it. I'll try to get you guys some shots. Water the bottom will be coming to shut it off in the street. For now, to get going, I'm gonna shut it off here and pull this meter. I was here last week. I checked the antifreeze levels. They were good when I checked them. I put antifreeze in the system. It's the it's the fifteenth, so um, four years ago. But they, they don't run this this system all winter. They shut it off, so the antifreeze is still good. I did check it, and it's good. So You can see what it does. It eats, see how it eats the rubbers. It does raise havoc with systems. So this is going to be off. I'm winterizing this house. <clears throat> thing I'll do is I'll dump this tank. And this one here, I go into the hot side, and I just got a, you know, a lav riser. With a half by a quarter adapter, I just screw it right in there, and uh, you know, screw that on there, and we'll just hook the hose right to that on the hot side. Let's put an air into the hot side. Fifty, sixty pounds is all you need. That's fine. Put it on a rug upside down so it don't move. Alright, you can see this water tank here. And the cold water feed comes down in the bottom of the tank. So if I would have fed in the bottom, there's no way of draining it. So if I feed in the, into the hot, I'll push all the water out the drain off the bottom. And then once I shut this off, this tank's drained. Then I'll pressurize hot and cold through this, you know, both will be energized and I'll be able to bleed it all out. So. All my compressors just, you know, coming in hot, pushing all this water out of this tank. This is this has got antifreeze in it, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh, we got two uh, coils, heating coils. First and second floor on the hydronic system. Bag on there so she don't go wild. She's a leaker, mama. She's a leaker. It's good to put a bag on there because when this thing starts spitting here, this hose is gonna go all over. have that bag on it, that thing will be whipping around, so oh, it's just too good. Refrigerator and freezer is all empty. I did have to dump out the ice. There was some ice in there. outside I'm do it hot and the cold we'll get all the water out I'm gonna go around to everything
That's unplugged. She's a spitter, mama. She's a spitter. Everything a couple of times, so I'm not gonna bore you guys with it, but you get the idea. I need to pump the toilets out. I think there's four in this house. We shut the toilets off, we'll pump them out, then we'll open these valves and let a little push the water out, you know. I said I'm gonna go around a couple of times to make sure I get all the water out. I gotta get get all the bathrooms first.
fourth zone. Yeah. You want to go ahead? Make sure it's off. Cool. That's all I need. It's enough. off. Think it's off? Yeah. 251. They usually go. Yeah, it's off. Do they usually leave in the winter? Yeah. These people? Well, watch it. Go ahead, I'm sorry. What the? Who did this last time, Jay? Um, the heavy set guy there. Who's that, Jay? Yeah. yeah. But I Thing. After I'm done, I want to pull it up. She's a spitter, Mama. She's a spitter. So it's good to have a good container because it's going to want to spit. It's always important to take the ice out. There's a nice thing. Very nice, Mama. And it's gonna push the air into here, and then we'll any freeze it after. Around, you know, make sure that there's no water or anything. 
like if the two shock bite fitting was on top of this it's unplugged I'll just tip it upside down and dump the water out of it and then the cold goes up to here and then back down so it should be already drained anyway there is a plug on the bottom you could drain it out but I could do it this way too let me just let that sit there for now uh, this is what I'm going to use to pump the toilets out that's four toilets to do so. outside faucet here he's got it open outside just blowing it out it's a frost free one I think it leaks it needs to be changed but it's blowing the water out up here on the ceiling here up on, up on some furniture I just gotta get all the and the last thing I gotta do is the uh, the boiler I'll show you how to do that where the meter goes right there the water is off outside water is off I'll leave it off all right well, I want to show you what I'm gonna do here this has a little rubber check valve in it so that's gonna hold the pressure plus the 9D it's not gonna let the water come back so we're gonna disconnect this nut and drain this leg out but there is pressure in the boiler see the boiler has pressure on it see if I could do this without making a mess should be able to just crack that a little bit out of there boilers off here boilers off here and it's off upstairs so this boilers not gonna run but there is any freeze in it I could you know could leave it running but that's the idea is to save the guy money so on that side of the feeder is antifreeze back up we're gonna leave this ball valve off when we come back in the spring there should still be pressure you can see that bottom there's pressure right there from antifreeze I checked the antifreeze it was good for like you know 30 about 30 percent antifreeze not crazy amounts but enough to stop it from freezing okay. 
this should be off. I don't know if you ever winterized that. Let's see. I don't know if you ever. I should find out. It was off, so I think it was winterized. Yeah, that's been winterized. You can tell. <clears throat> Baby, the dog. Look at it go, mama. Look at it go, mama. She's all excited, baby. The dog. She's all excited. What's going on, man? I'll be back. Spin. I went around and I opened up everything. So once this dumps, we can put any freeze in there. I have to pull the refrigerator out. Either that or shut it off inside. It might be a shut off in here. There we do. Where are you going to work? I want to need to unplug it. This is dumping now. Yeah. That antifreeze is dumping. Well, on the refrigerator, I slid it out, I unplugged it. I put this thing in so it can't shut. Unless the doors stay open, we're okay. The sink's open, the faucet's open. It's all open, a little bit of drain. Well, it's been pumped out. I'm gonna make sure that's open. A bit more of the toilet here so I won't get any smell from the septic. It's all open, hot tub. Shower. Closets are open. Tubs open. Make sure these are open. That shower head, I had to clean it. It was dirty. Pump the whole toilets out. I didn't show you guys that, yeah, but I did all that, so. Make sure it is open. 
I don't put nothing in there because I pump that out with the pump. So I just put a little bit in the bottom here in case there's any water mixes with it. Seat in the basement here. two dehumidifiers off. Shut the switch off. That's just for these two dehumidifiers that pump. Just goes right outside. What the hell has he got the screwdriver in there for? Idiot. How is he got a screwdriver in there for? Leave it to a doctor. Yeah, so I don't know why he had the screwdriver in here, but I took it out anyway. You ready for the next job? You ready for the next job? Check out that pedicure you got there. Let me see them nails. You see that pedicure you got there? Oh, yeah. Go look her, Mama. She's a looker. She's a looker. You ready for the next job? Check out them nails, check out them nails. All oh, nice and cut. Huh? All right, push on over, come on, let's go. Come on, push over. Push over, make room for me. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Gotta go to the next job there, baby. <laughs> 